Welcome to the new PSAT Crash Course in Math, the Calculator Permitted section. My name is Rob Shums, I'm the owner of Reason Prep, and today I'm bringing you a PSAT Crash Course series on the fourth test, the fourth section of the new PSAT, and the longer math section with uh, the calculator as something that you can use in this section as opposed to the third section where you couldn't. In this section, in this series, there's going to be 31 videos, 31 episodes. You can get a sample, a sense of some of the topics that I cover here. If you want to look at more detail and pick out specific episodes from the series, you can click on the link in the description below to go to my website. I've got all the episodes listed out there with links to all the videos. But in these videos, we cover everything from content to particular strategies or tips that can help you be more accurate or get an answer much more quickly in addition to some traps to avoid. So this course is not meant to be comprehensive. Really, none of these courses are meant to be comprehensive. We can't cover everything. We're just trying to get through this PSAT uh, as quickly as possible and to learn as much as we can along the way. Future series will go into much more detail about all these topics. So some notes about the series and the section. This is 31 questions and you have 45 minutes to complete those questions in the section. The videos, as I've said, are organized into 31 episodes. Each episode teaches you a skill, offers a tactic, or points out traps to avoid. Uh, the episodes cover the problems from 1 to 31 in this section in order. So episode 1 goes with number 1, episode 7 goes with number 7, and so on. Uh, again, this and any previous series in the PSAT Crash Course is not meant to be exhaustive. You can't cover everything, uh, especially in the math section. It's just, just way too much. I assume you know a lot of the material. If you don't, and if you need further review, this is something that we're going to tackle in a further series in future videos. But for now, we're just getting that basic crash course approach to the section. As always, make sure you complete the entire new PSAT that this section, this series is based on before you watch any of the videos of any section. Do it time to do all the sections so you can get a real good sense of where you're at. Then once you've done that, then you can go ahead and watch the videos. And when you do so, make sure you watch every video, even for problems that you got right, because you can get a question wrong or you can get a question right for the wrong reasons, right? You could guess and get lucky. You could do something wrong and still get it right. So you still want to make sure you understand the questions. And even if you completely got it right, you may still learn something anyway or realize that you made an error. So definitely watch each video. Definitely take notes and really pay attention to the lessons that are taught in each episode because they will help you not just with this test, of course, but with future PSATs and future new SATs as well. If you need the test, the new PSAT that the College Board released that this test is based on, uh, click the link in the description below. You'll find a link to the practice tests that you can download so that you can take the test beforehand and then follow along in the videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started with episode number one which is about fixed and variable fees. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.